this is a summary type question you're given a paragraph followed by four options and we need to select the option that summarizes the paragraph perfectly now this particular paragraph talks about how the 90s 1980s and 90s had this narcissistic upper class which was characteristic of it and it also talks about examples from today to show that the same thing is also present for us in this millennium which means the author is trying to say that we have a lot of things common with the middle class the money obsessed middle class of 1980s and 90s this makes option B correct option A says this millennium is characterized by money obsessed trends of 1980s now this is not a trend this is a class which was present there and it's also present today option C says this millennium saw a comeback of money obsessed 1980s the millennium did not saw a comeback he's saying that it was present in 80s and 19 and this has also continued today so we don't know if it has gone and come back option D says, says this millennium is characterized by narcissistic couple middle class but does not talk about that the same class was present in 80s and 90s as well which is a very important point of the sum paragraph given hence option D is also correct the correct answer to this question will be option B this again is a summary type question which gives you four options and asks you to select the perfect summary for this paragraph let's read the paragraph it says I was struck by not just the Silicon Valley's income disparity but also by the lack of compassion that wealthy tech workers sometimes display toward the poor Paul Kipiff a professor of psychology and social behavior at University of California believes all the money sloshing around the valley could make some tech executives unaware of their surroundings he has conducted several social experiments that consistently show when people gain access to money and their empathy towards the less fortunate falls and at the same time the sense of entitlement and self interest rises now this paragraph is essentially about this professor of psychology and the social experiments that have been done to show the increase in wealth vis-a-vis -vis lack of empathy towards less fortunate and silicon valley is used here as an example to illustrate the very thing let's look at our options option a says Silicon Valley creates wealth as a staggering clip, but many of its companies and executors' philanthropy has not kept pace. This option is incorrect because we are not just talking about Silicon Valley. We are also talking about a general phenomena where increase in wealth also leads to less empathy. Also, it is not just talking about philanthropy or charity. It is talking about empathy as well, where that where the attitude of people towards poor is going from bad to worse option B says Silicon Valley exemplifies the assertion that access to money lowers the level of empathy with poor this is correct as the author essentially talks about this assertion that access to money lowers the level of empathy with poor and Silicon Valley is used as an example to exemplify that option C says Silicon Valley is an apt example to prove that people who are rich do not empathize much with those that are poor author has used this example but we cannot say that Silicon Valley is an apt example the author has not said that this is a perfect example author has only said that this is an assertion which was made by professor and the Silicon Valley kind of proves this example or uh, exemplifies this example the focus of the argument is on professor and on the assertion that people who have more access to money it can uh, can have lower levels of empathy with poor option D says Silicon Valley has seen a steady increase in wealth and steady decline in philanthropy author says that despite earning a lot these people are not empathizing with the poor and it, it is also saying that they are making money at a really exponential level but the level of empathy is also dropping but we do not know whether this is a steady incline or decline hence the correct answer will be option B this again is a summary type question where a paragraph is followed by four options we need to find the perfect option that will give you the summary of the paragraph Turkish voters reasserted their commitment to democracy in Sunday's parliamentary elections more than 86 percent of them cast ballots a level of participation far above the 57 percent turnout posted by Americans in 2012 President Recep Tayyip Erdogan an increasingly authoritarian leader was denied a parliamentary majority while voting in significant numbers for a party representing the Kurdish minority now option A says voters in parliamentary elections do not want President Recap to come into Recep to come into power 